chicken spinach artichoke lasagna. One of my favorite recipes to freeze. So I'm starting with a mixture of onion, garlic, and rosemary. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. And I had a little butter and oil in the skillet. So I'm gonna give this mixture a stir and let it start to release all the incredible flavor. So I'm gonna let this keep cooking and I'm gonna make the ricotta mixture for the lasagna. So a whole bunch of ricotta and I'll add some egg yolks and a very generous amount of jarred pesto and then some parsley quite a bit. And I'll add some oregano that's chopped really fine. Plenty of salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna stir this around and fold it until it's totally mixed together. Okay, this ricotta mixture looks absolutely incredible. There is so much pesto in here. So back to the pot with all the onion and garlic. It is looking great, oh my goodness. It smells divine. So I'm gonna sprinkle some flour over this mixture. This is going to be the sauce. Now I wanna cook the flour for a good minute just so it doesn't have that raw flour flavor. In goes the milk and cream. While you stir that veggie mixture that's coated in flour. And then I'm adding heavy cream. Okay, I just need to let this cook for about five minutes to thicken. All right, this sauce is absolutely glorious. So I've got a bunch of rotisserie chicken and it's shredded really fine. And it goes in along with a bunch of Parmesan cheese. And then frozen spinach, I let it thaw and then I drained all the water out of it. Okay, and then last but not least, some quartered artichoke hearts. This looks like the most incredible spinach artichoke dip you could possibly make. And the chicken just sends it over the top. All righty. Ooh, this looks so good. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna go ahead and build the lasagna. So I'm using these disposable loaf pans. And first thing I'm gonna do is get about a quarter cup of the sauce and put it right into the bottom of the pan and grab a little bit of this ricotta mixture. Okay, so after you spread the ricotta mixture on the noodle, I have some grated fontina cheese and I'll just sprinkle it right over. So then I'm gonna roll up the lasagna. All right, so look at that. That is one lasagna roll. So I'm gonna do five more just like this and fill the pan. Okay, now that the lasagna noodles are built and rolled up, as you may have guessed, I will top them with this glorious chicken spinach artichoke sauce. Be generous, there's a lot of it. All right, and then finally, you've gotta to top the whole thing with cheese because this is lasagna. So I'm putting sliced mozzarella on top. I just bake it straight from the freezer at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Then for stage two, I remove the foil, put it back in, and bake it for a further 10 minutes. Then when the cheese is melted, I take them out, and that is all there is to it.